Secret Santa. What did you do? Dear Carrie, Merry Christmas. Santa heard your request for a die cutting machine in a recent video, and since you've been a good girl this year, the Scrapyard Elves gave me, your Secret Santa, a really good deal on the pre-owned machine and cutting dies. I also added a couple of embossing folders that I hope you can put to good use in your junk journals. I also enclosed a coupon so that you can purchase more goodies to use with the machine. Sincerely, Secret Santa. I don't care what any of y'all say. I mean, I love all y'all. All of you that are in this contest, every subscriber I have, heck, I love every subscriber of the friends that subscribe to my friends' channels, okay? I love all y'all, but they ain't a one of y'all, not one, that has a better Secret Santa than me, yet y'all will never top it, never, ever, 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 ever. And I'm going to tell you something, Secret Santa, I love the gift. I, I'm going to show it in just a second, but I want to clarify something. The gift is amazing, but what is even more amazing is the heart that you have. The heart to listen to me, to acknowledge my wish. I, I'm just stunned. I really, I just, I can't. Every time I turn around, every time I turn around and I'm going to share something with you all that is just, and I'll, I'm going to try to put some pictures of this because I want to set this up appropriately. You know how sometimes in life, like last week, for example, I had a very stressful week at work and everything that this junk journal community did for me was just reassuring affirmations that everything was going to be okay. And it was, it was just one of those weeks at work, right? It wasn't tragic. It wasn't, it was just a tough week. I got emails from people. I got comments from people. I got happy mail, you name it. It was just this community that saw that I just had a tough week and they acknowledged that and they wanted to make me feel better, right? How wonderful is that? Now, let me tell you what happened this week. In fact, it happened yesterday. <laughs> and like I said, I'll try to put some pictures up. Some of you know that I have a little craft shed that I get to do all my crafting in, and it's wonderful. I love my craft space. It's not much, but it's, it's mine, and I love it. Right outside of my craft space, we have a beautiful backyard that we've worked very, very hard. My honey has worked his boo honey off to get our backyard to be something we can be proud of. We have built a tree house in one of the most magnificent trees you've ever seen because our property is lined with beautiful, beautiful oak trees. They're gorgeous. And my honey built me uh, a pavilion and we call it our bon ton pavillon because it's our good time pavilion and in that pavilion he even built me a fireplace so in the winter time we can sit out there and listen to music and put the fire going it's beautiful yesterday i'm in my craft shed because just in relation to my craft shed the bon ton pavillon is about, I mean, I'm looking at it right now through the window. It's about, I don't know, 25 feet maybe. And the tree house is about 25 feet from the other side of the Bonton Pavillon. The tree house again is built around this humongous oak tree. So as I'm sitting here in my craft shed, I hear this really, really weird noise. And one of the biggest limbs that is in the treehouse tree collapses, falls off the tree, <laughs> and it goes through our Bon Ton Pavillon. <laughs> it was so big and so loud 
that our neighbors who are not close because we have a few acres of property and they have a few acres so there's some separation there they're hollering from their back door are y'all okay and i'm thinking to myself oh my god i'm so my first thought was because my honey stays outside all the time he loves outside, he's a piddler, he's constantly doing something. And he had been, for the past week, actually chopping up some firewoods from some limbs that had fell around the yard. It's not unusual for smaller limbs to fall, so he was cleaning up the yard. Where he would have been standing to do that, he would have been hurt if he had been there yesterday when that limb fell. If my little grandchildren had been in that tree house, I hate to even think. It destroyed half of the tree house. It destroyed it. And like I said, I'll try and put pictures. This was not tragic. This was actually, it was, no one was hurt. But it was just one of those things, one of those fluke things. And now today, I have friends that I've never met that are sending me something that I just said in passing in a video that I think I'm going to ask Santa Claus this year for an embossing machine for a die cutting machine, a die cutting and an embossing machine because I didn't know the difference. And look how God blesses me. And I'm going to tell y'all something right now. Not that I deserve it because I don't. I don't care what any of y'all say. Because <laughs> y'all are all like, oh, yes, you deserve it. You're so sweet. You're so that. Okay, yeah. Let me tell you something. Y'all have never seen the human side of me come out yet. Because I do have one. I have a big human side. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I cannot get over this. I cannot get over this. I'm so appreciative. Let me put you on pause because I want to pull out everything that was in the box and I want to show you the machine. Let me get it set up. Okay, so everything's unboxed. It is a cuddle bug machine, embossing and die cutting. Uh, I absolutely love it. I absolutely, I mean, the footprint on this thing is barely anything. This is so portable, so wonderful. It has come it with everything that's supposed to be there. Okay. These are the extras <laughs> embossing folders. Look how cool this is. Look at these. Brand new. Brand new. Look. Here's another emboss. I love this one. This one? Oh, it's on. Oh, yeah. This is so cute. They have some examples that they cut out and they did some embossing. I did this one because I couldn't stand it. I had to try it, but look how, how precious is this? How precious is this? Thank God. Thank God Secret Santa sent me some samples because I, I'm just, I'm overwhelmed. Look at this, how beautiful. Who wants some happy mail now, huh? <laughs> Look how cool this is. Y'all. I I am going to have I mean, listen. Y'all going to my honey might as well bring me a cot out here to my shed because I I don't know when I'm going to be going inside. <laughs> it came with this. Okay. Here's the 20% off Michaels, and as soon as this video is finished, yes, I will be getting online to do a pickup order at my local Michaels, so that's coming up. <laughs> it had some extra goodies in it. Look how adorable. It had this. So this is a resist chalk edger. Maybe, um, um, and I know you can't comment Secret Santa, but if somebody knows what this is for, but is it? Would it by chance be to distress edges of paper? I don't know, but if someone knows, please comment below and tell me. So this must be the, you know, the tape that you use to hold your dies and stuff in place, and then some adhesive dots. So I, 
I mean, guys, I don't, I don't, I don't even know what to say. I really don't. I just, um, thank you. Just thank you. I, I'm just, I'm so blessed in so many ways um, that I hope that, I hope this, I hope that my secret Santa's blessings come back at least tenfold. That's my wish, that my secret Santa is blessed tenfold for all the generosity and all the thought, time and energy that goes into something like this. This is, um, it's certainly more than I deserve, but it is, it, it speaks volumes to my secret Santa's character. And you know what, guys? We need more of that kind of character in the world today. I know I keep preaching to y'all about that. You know, I have my down days too where I'm not, I'm not nearly as kind as my secret Santa to people, but I'm constantly reminded that I should be. And so tomorrow, I think that um, my goal tomorrow is going to be to try and go out there in my everyday world tomorrow and be, try to be as kind as my secret Santa was today. And I, I want to challenge you all to do that same thing. You know, I know we all have our hard moments and I don't know what's going on in your life and all that. But I think that if we, you know, just make a concerted effort to put a little good out there in the world, a little good will come back to us. So anyway, what a wonderful, what a wonderful um, experience this has been. So I would encourage y'all, anybody who did not do this challenge this year, I'm hoping, number one, that Carol with a Crinkled Path, Pam Van E, and Angela the Traveling Crafter will do this again next year. Because this uh, Christmas in July, Secret Santa Swap 2023, it has been a lot of fun for a lot of people. Y'all go out there, uh, search that hashtag. I'll have the details in the description below. But y'all go search the hashtag and see all the reactions that people that are participating have. See all the fun stuff that we're, we're having a ton of fun. It's July. It's hot as Hades. Um, you know, you can't hardly do anything outside. It's so hot here in the South. Anyway, I shouldn't speak for everywhere. But, you know, it's just a, it's a really good way for us to come together and just have a good time. Just have a good time. So I would encourage you to watch for that next year. And y'all come on and join us. Let's all have fun together. I'm serious. Y'all come on and join us. Don't be intimidated by it. I mean, what do I know? I'm a beginner. I don't know how to make tags. I'm just, I'm telling y'all, I'm just as intimidated as the next person thinking, oh my God, is my tag going to be good enough? Is my this going to be, you know, whatever, whatever. I'm having a good time. And as far as I know, I, um, my participant that I'm connected to has, you know, appreciated it. It was done out of love and caring and, and, and giving. And, and I think that I'm, I know that's how it was received. And that's what it's about. So encourage you to not only watch for this hashtag next year, because again, ladies, I hope that you do it again. But I would also encourage you to go out there. I will have the list of participants and all the hostesses with the mostesses, because that's what they are. These ladies are incredible. Go to their channels. Please go to their channels. Go to their channels. Watch their videos. Comment on their videos. Subscribe to their channels. Because this community, this community is, they're incredible people. You will not regret it. I promise you. Okay, guys, I, I got, I got an embossing and die cutting machine to go play with now. Uh, I don't know what y'all are going to be up to, but I'm be having fun. And I hope that whatever it is, you get to do at least part of it, at least part of it is as much fun as I'm going to have here in just a second. Thank you so much, guys, for hanging out and for watching me just drone on and on and be silly. And I, like I said, I'll try and put some pictures up so you can get some perspective of how big that limb actually was that fell. And we're so thankful that no one was hurt. But thank you guys again, and we'll talk soon. Bye.